Hello, welcome to Cornwall. My name is Andy Paramore and this video is going to be about turning a little wooden pendant. This one's in Sobrano and it's got a little leather uh, necklace and um, you just wrap it around the top. So we'll be turning a circle, it's quite thin, a circle and then we'll be going off center to turn the little hole uh, detail that's closer to the edge for the thing to wrap around. Uh, so we'll get over to the lathe and I'll show you the little jig that I've made so that I can mount it and then uh, do the process without having to uh, remount this piece. Uh, but I'll show you how, how we do that um, in a minute. Let's get on. Okay, so we've got these little scrap pieces of Zebrano. This is my jig. The idea is that we hot glue the uh, Zebrano onto, onto there, roughly central, and we turn it round. So what I've done at the back, I've got a hole for my worm screw in the center of the piece. So that when I mount it onto that hole, it turns the turns this round and then when I've got that round uh, sanded and polished I then unscrew it I move it onto the next hole which will then make it off center and then when I approach it I will be approaching it off center and, uh, and making the hole towards the edge of the piece so my next thing will be to hot glue this onto there. I'm mounting this in the central hole. I will just let my hot glue gun warm up and then I'll mount it on. Okay, we'll get the hot glue. We don't want to put too much on, but at the same time it is enough to be able to hold it without it popping off. And then we'll just position it Roughly in the centre, the piece is not round anyway, so that's far off. Press it nice and firmly against there. Then we'll just leave it for a couple of minutes just to uh, cool down. Okay, that should have set by now. I'll uh, just pop a piece of wood on there and just bring the tail stock up just to support it while I do the uh, while I round it off just take the sharp edges off <clears throat> and I'll use a bowl gouge just to round it off One thing you do have to watch out for is the uh, breakout on the back of it. Um, so I might try and just bring it round a bit from the other side.
Okay, we'll remove the tailstock. Somewhere. We'll just tidy up the face. I'm going to use a negative rake round nose scraper. Sand from what we got here. Well, it's about an 80 grit. Got my dust extraction working now. And some noise. Do some. Uh, this is uh, abrasive paste. Let's speed up a bit. Test paste. And then this is French polish. shine on that. So next stage is move it from the central hole over to the outer hole. Let's screw it back on. Small, very small bowl gouge. I don't know what size it is. Hopefully, 
hopefully you can see that. Stop it and have a look where we are. We're about probably as close to the edge as I like to go. So we'll leave it at that and just tidy the tidy the hole up a bit. I have tried doing this without, uh, with the um, double-sided tape and uh, whilst I have had success in the past um, it didn't seem to be working very well and it kept popping off halfway through and, and then it was off-centre so uh, more trouble than it was worth but I do find that the, um, the glue works very well if you're careful taking it off but you can't go at it too gung-ho starting off at a, with a um, 180 grit paper and then we'll go 240 and uh, 300 or 320 rather And then back to the abrasive paste. Remove the excess paste. French polish and basically that's it done I found one of the best things for removing it, because you've got to remove it carefully, uh, is to get a scraper, one that you can, the glue does leave a gap behind the back with the thickness of the glue, so you can get the scraper and get it quite close to where the glue is and it pushes off quite easily. So all that's left to do is, oh, let me get you in shot is to uh, scrape the glue off the back like to do it along the drain.
the wax on the back. Do that again. I think you're out of shot. Get the cord through the hole, through the cord, pull it up, and there we have it. Nice little wooden pendant off centre hole. Nice for a little craft show or something like that. And nice and simple and quick. Well, there we have it. A nice, quick little project, little pendant, and uh, as I say, great starter project for a new turner. If you make the jig, it makes it really easy if you've got a hot glue gun, and, um, and good for craft shows. Any People that seen me uh, seen my videos before, you'll notice I've got a nice shiny new lathe. It's the Axminster AT406WL. Uh, I think it's the old 1628, and uh, I'll do a little review on it at a later date after I've used it for a little bit and find out what's good and what's not good about it. Up to now, I'm really pleased with it. I've been waiting a long time to get uh, uh, an upgrade on my lathe so uh, yeah this is uh, this is great so anyway I'll, as I say I'll do a, a review on that at a later date but uh, for now thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like thumbs up um, and please write a comment and uh, from here in Cornwall my name is Andy Paramore See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, there we have it. Little pendant, nice quick little, quick little. <laughs> well, there we have it. A nice, quick little 